putting their feet on the desk. This gesture can mean a lot of things. Bad manners, disrespect, trying to show who's boss, or even concern for one's health. However, psychologists believe that even if you feel comfortable in this position, you shouldn't sit like this anywhere but at home. Swinging from their heels to their toes. That's right, not only kids do it. This shows that a person feels anxious about something. However, if a person doesn't swing back and forth, but bounces up and down on their toes, it might be a sign that they're feeling confident. If they look happy and are smiling, this guess is a safe bet. A handshake with the palm facing the floor versus facing the ceiling. A person holding out their hand with the palm facing downward is demonstrating their superiority and power. This knowledge can turn out useful if you want to subtly show your boss that you respect their dominance. It's okay, feed their ego if it means getting on their good side. At the same time, if you're holding someone's hand from below, you're telling them that you're ready to help. Leaning forward. When people like someone and want to get to know them, they usually lean forward. In this position, the legs might stay put, but the body intuitively moves forward. You can really notice this body movement in a group of people. A person subconsciously leans in the direction of the man or woman they like. So next time you're at a party, sit back or forward if you've got your eye on someone and enjoy the show. Leaning back. Now let's look at the opposite situation. If someone sits back in their chair, they're showing that they're tired of the conversation and don't want to keep it going. They might feel uncomfortable in the presence of the other person. Next time you're in a restaurant, see if you can spot people who are not so into the conversation they're having at the moment. Unbroken staring. On the other hand, if a person won't avert their eyes from yours, they're likely trying to intimidate you and make you feel uncomfortable. Or the person who's keeping such persistent eye contact is lying to you, but they're aware of the fact that breaking eye contact equals lying. So they're trying super hard not to break it. If they're overdoing it in the process, well, can we really blame them? Closing their eyes. If a person is talking to you and closing their eyes, you should know that they're trying to hide from the outside world. This doesn't mean that the person is scared of you. Most likely, they've mentally clocked out of the conversation with you. And if they close their eyes, you disappear. Crossed arms. This is one of the most popular gestures, and it's no wonder. Many people feel really comfortable in this position because it subconsciously shuts them off from others. We often use this gesture when we're irritated by something. Crossed arms are a clear sign that a person is not feeling it today. If you want to talk to someone making an X with their arms across their chest, forget about it. A handshake with a touch. People sometimes touch others with their free hands. They might touch your forearm, elbow, or back. This invasion of your personal bubble means that someone isn't getting enough attention or communication from others. The closer the touch to the torso, the more the person needs company. The glove handshake. While you're shaking hands with someone, if that person takes your wrist with their free hand, they're showing that they're trustworthy, friendly, and honest. This style of shaking hands is popular among politicians. But you should remember that this handshake is often perceived as an invasion of privacy. Only people who are close to each other do it genuinely. So don't let the politicians fool you. Covering their mouth. This is a leftover from childhood. Do you remember covering your mouth when you didn't want to tell mom what happened to that broken vase? Well, this habit follows us to adult life too. A few fingers, a palm, or even a fist near the mouth helps us hold back the words we don't want to let out. Sometimes this gesture is even disguised by fake coughing. A lot of blinking. A person blinks on average from 6 to 10 times a minute. But if this number is higher, there's a good chance that they're attracted to their conversation partner. So, it's a sign of subconscious flirting. Ooh la la! Chewing on their glasses. If you see someone chewing on the earpieces of their glasses, try having a heart-to-heart -heart with them and cheering them up. They're definitely subconsciously worried about something. They're trying to feel safe like they did when their mom was breastfeeding them. 
By the way, a pencil, pen, cigarette, and even chewing gum in the mouth can indicate the same thing. Collecting imaginary limb. This is a so-called displacement gesture. People often use it to express that they disagree with something, but they don't want to voice their disagreement. In other words, they don't express their opinion clearly, but show it in a hidden way. Presenting their face. Generally speaking, this gesture is used to attract people of the opposite sex. When we rest our chins on our hands, we're sort of presenting our faces, as if to say, this is me. Enjoy as much as you want. Men should remember this gesture if they want to catch the moment and compliment the lady at the right time. Rubbing their hands. It's believed that the hands broadcast what the head is thinking. Rubbing the hands together generally means that a person has a positive feeling about something, and they're hopeful. We do this when we're thinking about some positive outcomes in the near future. A good gesture next time you're in Vegas. Cupping someone's hands during a handshake. If someone cups your hand between both of theirs, placing their free palm on the back of your hand, this lets you know that they sympathize with you. But this is true only if a person does it instantly. However, if you've been shaking hands already and only then does the other person put their hand on top, this may be a sign that they're telling you who's in charge here. Avoiding eye contact. Typically, if a person won't look you in the eye, it means they're being dishonest with you. But it also may serve as a sign of their discomfort. Thirdly, people often look to the side if they're doing mental math or searching for the answer to a difficult question. Rubbing their chin. This is what people do when they're trying to make a decision. They might be looking down, up, to the side, or anywhere. They don't even know what they're looking at because they're deep in thought. So if you see your friend doing this, ask them what's on their mind. Fixing their posture. When a woman wants a man to notice her, she tries to present herself in the best way possible. She straightens her back to emphasize her breasts, and she may also cross her legs. Hands together and hanging down are a sign of attention and huge interest in a person. Fixing their tie. The meaning of this gesture depends on the situation. If a man does this near an attractive woman, it probably means that he likes her. However, this gesture may also indicate that a person isn't feeling comfortable. Maybe he has lied, or just wants to get away from wherever he is right now. Eye contact. The eyes are the windows to the soul and a great helper of communication. You can read all of a person's thoughts and feelings in their eyes. Lovers look each other in the eye hoping to see enlarged pupils. In fact, it's very easy to notice because when someone is attracted to another, their pupils can be up to four times bigger than their normal state. By the way, if a person is angry, their eyes look beady because their pupils get really small. There are different types of eye contact and each of them can tell us a lot if we know how to decode them. Mounting a chair like a horse. A chair is not a horse, and even though its back sort of looks like a shield, it serves a different purpose. Many people are irritated by others sitting like this because they feel the aggression intuitively. This position is popular among dominant people. If you don't want to seem weak, keep standing while they're riding their imaginary horse. Playing with their shoe. Crossed legs are one of the most attractive ways that women can sit. And if a woman is playing with her shoe, this indicates that she's feeling calm and relaxed. It also means that she's trying to draw your attention to her legs. So gentlemen, this is your green light.